Today we're going to be working on how to use the empirical rule or the 68.95.99.7 rule in um, finding the percentages of the distribution under the normal curve. Now for this case that we're working on right now, we have here the data set of the runners and uh, we are given the mean body weight and its standard deviation on its distribution. So to start off, let's write out our normal distribution. And the normal distribution is given by the mean of 63.1 kilograms. And we write it in this notation, 63.1 kilograms, comma, 4.8 kilograms. And this is our mu and standard deviation. So now that we have our normal distribution with the mean and the standard deviation given, the first question is to um, sketch the weight distribution of our normal distribution given by this mean and standard deviation. So since it's normally distributed, all we have to do is to construct our bell-shaped curve. And this is our bell-shaped curve, and we know that at the center is going to be our mean, which is 63.1. This is 63.1. And we need to produce the three standard deviation away from the mean. So we have here one, two, three standard deviation. And to find those values, all we have to do is to add 63.1 plus 4.8 which is one standard deviation away from the mean. So we have 67.9, 67.9. And then we add another 4.8, and it will give us 72.7. And then another 4.8, which is 77.5. So this is our distribution to the left of the curve from 63.1. And to the right of the curve, all we have to do is from 63.1, we will subtract 4.8 so we can find the distribution to the other side of the curve and it will give us 58.3 so we have one two three standard deviation away from the mean and we will start with 58.3 and then two standard deviation away from the mean you'll add or subtract 4.8 from 58.3 and it will give us 53.5 and then another standard deviation minus 4.8 is 48.7 so this is now our distribution of our uh, runners or their weight um, distribution and we know that in the rule the first standard deviation away from the mean is going to give us the 68% of the distribution. So this one is 68%. And the two standard deviation away from the mean will give us 95%. And from here to here, we'll have 99.7%. So this is our empirical rule, also known as the 68, 95, and 99.7 rule. So this is what we're going to be using in answering our distribution. So this is our first distribution, the second, and the third. And we're just going to use simple algebra in solving the area under the curve using our empirical rule. So for the first problem, we're supposed to find the proportion of runners whose body weight is between 48.7 and 67.9 kilograms. So our notation is going to be x in between 48.7 and 67.9 and we know that 48.7 is here and it's corresponding to 99.7 percent from here to the third standard deviation and 67.9 is somewhere here which corresponds to the 68 percent distribution. So to uh, visualize our area under the curve, we'll be using these percentages and find the area by using these values. So since 48.7 is three standard deviation away from the mean, one, two, three, 
so we know that from here to here which is three standard deviation away from the mean is 99.7 but since we only need this part of our area so what we're going to do is take half of 99.7 and we'll be able to find the area from here which is 48.7 up until 63.1 so half of 99.7 using our calculator is 49.85 so that's our area from 48.7 up until the mean which is 63.1 we just need to find 67.9 and 67.9 corresponds to the first standard deviation so this one is what we need and to find that since we know that it's just 68% from here to here but we only need half of it so we're going to take half of 68% and half of 68% is 34 so to find the area from here to here we're just going to add this to distribution and 49.85 plus 34 is going to give us 83.85 so this is the area between 48.7 and 67.9 83.85% so that is the percentage of runners whose weight is in between 48.7 and 67.9 using our empirical rule. Now for the second problem, we need to find the proportion of runners whose body weight is above 72.7 kilograms. So 72.7 kilograms corresponds to 95%. So what we're going to do is we're going to write our notation. We're looking for the proportion of runners whose weight is above 72.7 and our curve will help us identify that proportion so we know that this is our 50% and we have 1, 2 for 72.7 1, 2 standard deviation away from the mean and we only need to find this area under the curve and to do that we're going to be using our values which corresponds to 72.7 which happens to be 95 percent so this is 95 percent but we only need half of it so we can take this area or find this area and then take the complement of it from 50 percent so we'll be able to find this so half of 95% in our calculator it will give us 47.5 so this we know is 47.5 and to find this area we will subtract 50 and 47.5 so we'll be able to find the difference and the difference is going to be the area that we are looking for and 50 minus 47.5 is 2.5 percent so the area or the proportion of runners that is greater than 72.7 kilograms is 2.5 percent Now we're going to be working on letter D and on letter D we're working on the percentages of runners who falls within 58.3 kilograms and 72.7 kilograms and 58.3 kilograms corresponds to one standard deviation away from the mean and 72.7 is two standard deviation away from the mean so the percentages that we're working on uh, are the um, weight of the runners in between 58.3 and 72.7 so in our distribution this is 50% and one standard deviation away from the mean is 58.3 so what we need to do is to get half of 68% So 
so we can find this area under the curve of our distribution and half of 68 percent is 34 and now we're going to find 72.7 which happens to be two standard deviation away from the mean so this is the other distribution that we're working on 72.7 and in this case we're looking for this area or half of this area which happens to be 95 percent of the normal curve so we have half of 95 percent which gives us half of 95 is 47.5 so all we have to do is to add the two areas together so we'll be able to find this area that we're looking for so this one the sum of 34 and 47 0.5 is going to be 81.5 so the area under the curve is 81.5 percent and this is how we answer um, percentages under the normal curve using the empirical rule or the 68 95 and 99.7 rule